Hi, my name is Stephen Hadhazi and I am here for InsuranceClaim.com. Today we are going to be discussing how hailstones of a 1.5 inch diameter and less may be able to damage concrete tile shingles. For today's experiment, we have prepared some ice balls with an approximate diameter of 1.5 inches. Before they froze, we took some small wooden toothpicks and stuck them into the mold so that there would be a handle to hold them by, kind of like the popsicles you may have made from Kool-Aid when you were a child. Once frozen, we took these small 1.5 inch diameter hailstones on a stick and use them to tap against brand new concrete tile roofing shingles to see what the effect might be. As you might have guessed, the bottom right hand corner of the shingle was damaged and the rest of the shingle was left intact. If you have ever spoken to an insurance adjuster about this type of physical damage, then you were likely given the textbook response that they have engineers that have told them that any damage to the bottom right hand corner of concrete tile shingles is caused by thermal expansion and not due to impacts from hail. While it may be true that thermal expansion could cause damage to the bottom right hand corner of shingles, it would be inappropriate to just assume that thermal expansion caused the damage which is exactly what it appears that many insurance carriers, adjusters, and their expert engineers have done. Of course, the next question would be, why would only the bottom right-hand corner of the shingle be damaged? The answer is easy. Concrete shingles overlap each other from the left to the right in kind of a tongue-and-groove manner. However, the portion of the left-hand shingle that overlaps the right-hand shingle rarely actually rests fully on top of the right-hand shingle, thus leaving the edge suspended in air and totally unsupported by the right-hand shingle. Moreover, as we have seen through our testing, the edges and corners of shingles are typically far more susceptible to damage than the center of the same materials. With these shingles, the upper right and left hand corner is covered and protected by the next course of the concrete shingles above. And the bottom left hand corner is covered and protected by the tongue of the preceding shingle to its left. This leaves only one corner completely exposed to a hailstone impact, the bottom right hand corner. Now, let's take a look at the experiment. If any of the damage to the bottom right-hand corners of the shingle were caused by thermal expansion, then you would think that the insurance carrier's expert engineers would also look at the other three corners of the shingle. Because thermal expansion would not likely favor breaking only the bottom right-hand corners. 
Why do the insurance carriers engineers typically not factor in the other three corners? Why do you think? We hope that you enjoyed today's experiment. And remember, the next time someone tells you that small hail can't damage the bottom right-hand corners of concrete tile roofing shingles, you tell them to go to the YouTube channel for insuranceclaim.com and see it for themselves.